This is tutorial number 113, and it covers the offset constraint within CATIA v5. To start off, open up tutorial part number 113, which is located on the DVD. Now the offset constraint is found in the toolbar here, and what this is going to do is we're able to offset uh, one surface to another a certain distance. So to do this, what I've done is I've set up uh, some of our previous tutorial parts, and what we're going to do is we're going to change the offset distances all the way around. Right now, they're all set at 100 millimeters away from this face to this face all the way around. So what we're going to do is we're going to change these dimensions. So let's click Offset Constraint. We'll click this face here, this face here, and it's 100, just like I said. So let's change it to 200. Click OK. Click Update. And now we have 200. And just so you know, the constraints, they all go in a folder on the side here. And we're also able to double click and go into it to change it. So say we want to make this one 300 now. Click Update. Now it's 300. Now let's do a few more. Click Offset. Let's click this line here and this line here, and it's 100. Let's make it 150, click OK, click Update, and it pushes it 150. So now it's not just uh, faces, you're also able to do uh, edges such as that. So now let's do these two guys here, click Offset, click this face here, and let's try this face here. So let's click this one here, and it's 225. Now let's put this to 500, click OK, and let's make another offset constraint. So click Offset, and let's offset this face to this face. And it's 400 right now, and let's make it 600. Click OK, click Update, and now we've pushed those two back. So when you're doing this, it can be uh, either you know from a surface to a surface, a line to a line, you can even do point to point if you want to. And so what we did in the first few, I did this face here to this face here, then we did edge to edge, and then you can throw it around and do different faces to pull it out too. So I used this face here to this face here, and then I also used uh, this face here to this face here. Now when you're doing it, the uh, object that you click first is going to be the one that moves. So if I go back and get rid of all of these constraints, now all of these cubes outside are able to move. So if I want this one to move first, I'm going to click this face here, click this face here, make this 500, and when I update, that one's going to move. Now if I go back and if I want this one to move, I click this one first, then I click this one here, make it 500, update it, and now that one's going to move. So just when you're doing it, uh, it applies to all the other constraints too. Always choose the one that you want to move first, and the one that you want to remain stationary second. Now we'll also do one that's point to point, so we'll choose this point here, and this point here. Now when you're doing point to point, it's kind of harder sometimes. Uh, in this case, the points are lined up. They're uh, in line perfectly. Uh, most of the time you're not going to get that, so doing a point to point is not usually the best choice. Now let's make this one 500. Click Update, and it moves out. So with the, contact con uh, sorry, the offset constraint, we're able to offset uh, certain parts a certain distance away from each other. And this concludes our tutorial on the offset constraint within CATIA v5.